Hi everyone! So it, hap uh, it happened. My grandfather died um, during the night between Saturday and Saturday, Sunday, and we buried him yesterday. I have no pictures to show you because it's quite seen as really not polite into my family, my family to take pictures in this kind of event. Um, so first Saturday evening, I was, I had my candle for Freya, you know, um, near my bed, and as every evening, I came to stop it, <laughs> to sniff it, I don't remember how you call stopping a candle. And I had really a clear voice saying, no, you let it for your grandfather. So yeah, I let it just, um, uh, sorry, I let the candle burn um, and in the morning, I just woke up and saw, it, saw the, the candle that I stopped burning during the night and I thought, okay, my grandfather has gone. And after that, I said to myself, oh, I had no news, so he should be alive. And I was <laughs> right for my intuition at the beginning. And I also had an intuition when my family said to me, yeah, your grandfather is not well, he will die soon. I knew that uh, we will bury him at the moment I had my doctor appointment. And it was true. So I have um, changed my appointment for tomorrow, but it was like, you know, the little things in your head. You are sure of it and it's real. <laughs> um, my grandmother's spirit has been a lot, lot with me during this process um, and it has been years now that she appears to me like a female grizzly bear uh, protect, protecting me, you know, and really when I was really bad into my heels, she was there all the time just cuddling on me to keep me warm. <laughs> and protecting me and also not the morning of this death but Monday morning I woke up and saw my grandmother bear spirit and with her was a beautiful stag you know really with huge horns and really powerful and and on the moment, it didn't click on my head. And this morning, the yesterday morning, I still saw him with her as a beer. And I said, "Yeah, it began to my it began to come to my mind that it could be my grandfather spirit coming to me in a stag shape." And yeah, really. Um, I really regretted uh, not coming to say goodbye to my grandmother before she was in in her, uh, I don't know how you say, the box in which you put people when they die, hmm? before she was into her box. And, but my family said to me, oh, it will be too hard for you, just don't go. And so this time I decided to go see my grandfather because before they put him in into his so beautiful oak box <laughs> and when I was with him it's the first time I really see someone dead and it's it's so weird to see a body but there's nobody in it really no energy nothing left like he was at my right, his body, I was sitting there and his energy, spirit was <laughs> there, <laughs> like totally outside of it. it it's why it was, has surprised me 
but yeah, really the stack was here really strongly and he really entered like my into my heart there in into this place to warm it and give me strength energy to go along all the process of him getting buried and all the mass and everything that comes with and I really felt this energy of horns coming out of my head and I still feel it. <laughs> so yeah, like with my grandmother I really feel more close to my grandfather now that he has died than, than before he when he was alive, it's always so. During all this process, day, I was quite happy inside, really happy to feel him with me. I really didn't imagine we had so little connection together that I really, really thought that his spirit would not come to me, and. It has been so a great surprise to feel him so close and really inside me. Um, like he has given me what he wanted to give me during his life, but we had not, we had failed to connect enough for it. So yeah, I really feel powerful and strong because of it. Mm. And yeah, I think it's quite difficult for the other to understand. My mother really saw him a lot as a man and heard him. My husband heard him a lot, especially during the mass commenting <laughs> the events. Yeah. Um, he has a lot of sense of humor, you know, so he had the jokes in head. Um, my father doesn't see or hear anything, but he really feels really relaxed. You, like, you know, feeling that his father knows he's happy outside of his suffering body. So he feels good too. So we were four, like, happy in, in the middle of everyone that was sobbing and crying. Um, and it's quite difficult. Even the believers, you know, Catholic believers that came at the Mass, um, in the prayers you felt really that it was more prayers like give us the faith, we want to believe in you God, and I was there, what? They don't really believe? <laughs> like they have doubts? <laughs> How can you say that you are in a religion really? if you have such big doubts, especially at the end, like this. I know my grandmother I had a little doubt, you know, before the end. And she asked us, do you think I will go to paradise? And really we said, yeah, you will go. Whatever happens, you will go. And she prayed the Virgin Mary until the end. Really, she had a prayer beads into her hands and really she prayed until the end. But yeah, my grandfather had not this face really at the end. He, lost, he, he, he has lost his face. And it was quite painful to see believers not believing, finally. And it was even more difficult for my younger aunts and all her family because they are Atheist, really, and for them, this is like the end, and really, they have no, not the slightest idea or belief of what will happen for to the soul if there is a soul. And it was so difficult to show them suffering really deeply without being able to help them because even if we say to them, Yeah, we know that his spirit, his soul is not free and happy. They, they look at you like, eh, anyway, I don't believe you. So yeah, quite difficult, really. 
to share this piece with other people. Um, he has been buried near my grandmother and I had the, like the call uh, from my sister and my grandmother that are in the same graveyard um, that I had to buy them some flowers for their grave so for my grand for my sister it was like um, violet orchid with white other flowers white and green like a little round bucket and another round bucket for my grandmother but with red roses and fresia red fresia really like couture <laughs> she was um, um, couturier working in fashion when she was younger and she really uh, her energy for me is red as my sister's energy is violet and white and I really uh, bought little orchid the same um, purple orchid with in a little box with all the water and everything she needs <laughs> the flowers so it is on my altar now for my sister my sister's altar so yeah it has been the mission we have gone with Guillaume <laughs> taking the bus and walking going to buy some clothes for him i have bought this because it was really cold yesterday and i had not uh, i had only really colored um colored things like that and i really love it it's really so so smooth and gentle and mm, warm so yeah, we bought it, we bought the flowers and so we were with our buckets in our arms and we came to buy some food because, you know, with all these events, um, <laughs> we had to buy some, at least some things for, for um, being able to survive until after all this. And so after the mass, there has been an debarrement into the grave there there have been like a tea party I would say but I was not good really my belly was extremely painful so I had to come home it was one hour of driving back so really we had to come home and I have spent the rest of the day into my bed with my hot water bottle and my cat but it was really a glorious day yeah really good <laughs> and yeah and also when they have put him into the soil um, really I felt really I had this strong impression and image that it was a seed that was planted and that will give something huge and beautiful after you know really it's the first time I have this special pagan impression you know um, yeah, it's the first time I really feel more the spirits of the, the dead people like animals and really strongly for my grandmother it has come with years. At the beginning I saw her really as a human and after when I have been ill she has come to me as a bear and I had really it has taken, it has yeah, taken months before I realized the connection between the beer and my grandmother. So this time it has been like a total pagan experience and I, I've really, um, last evening, I am really thinking about how I want to celebrate my death you know how I want it to be celebrated and it's not clear but I will I will think really in depth about it and write it as my father said yeah he will write everything he wants so it will be clear and good and 
So today uh, I will take some time off this morning and this afternoon I have insisted to help to clear my grandfather's rooms when where he was living. Um, they are not pushing us to do it, really they are very sad because he has been eight years there and really for all the nurses and caretakers he was like family. He was quite gentle with them, really doing what he wanted. <laughs> if he wanted to smoke, he smoked outside, but he smoked. He drank his wine as he wanted and um, he took his pills with wine. <laughs> but except for that, he was really polite and gentle with them. So really they missed them, they missed him. And one thing they were really happy was to have the the right to clean his body and put him some his clothes, you know, take care of him last time. Really, it has been a great, great thing for them. They are thank us for that because it's not all the time that they can and it was their way to say goodbye. Um, so yeah, we will come to take some, to take off the all the thing of my grandfather that was there. I will take some from for my apartment. Uh, I hope there won't be too much of fights about it. Uh, but it seems that everyone tries to keep it, you know, low and polite. <laughs> so maybe it will be good. And yeah, I really insisted. My father said, "Yeah, you're not right, you know." For with your heels, stay calm at home and I said no I won't 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 want to come. Really for me it has been a passage like being an adult. Last time the, la the two last time we buried people of the family really I was clearly younger and I was like you know more a burden that and help sorry no space left in the can um, so just to end quickly really this time uh, it has felt like the adult moment um, for me especially because my all, all my cousins from this side of the family are at least 10 years 10 years younger than me so they are the same age I was when my grandmother died <sighs> and yeah really feeling that I need to be there and it's quite also a training because the next generation that will have to deal with that will be me <laughs> and even if my parents really has booked um, and I still preparing um, as much as possible their eventual death, especially if, you know, like if they have a car accident and the two pass at the same time. So yeah, they are preparing, preparing it like, ex for example, for money, all is made that f the money for everything um, will be given to me like in 24 hours so I won't have money problems because of that so yeah I will have to deal with that so it's quite a training for me to be there with them and help them as much as I can and also to acknowledge that now I am at the age my mother gave birth to me and a few months later my sister died so yeah I'm also at the this kind of passage age where all this happened and I have to face it and you know I live it quite in peace but it has to be a work about it so yeah it's really a great experience for the moment and really every, everyone has mature since the last 
death in my family and it has been really better into the relations and into the support and and I am and I am really grateful for being able to be there and being part of this family because yeah, I have been raised as much as possible by my parents out of the rest of the family because they had really great problems with this family and really painful experience so they wanted to protect me but it's, it has been... I have always have felt like an outsider so being able, since I have been ill, my aunts especially have been closer to me because they had the same problems, you know, so they are there for supporting me and I have taken this opportunity to really enter back into the family and so it's a great experience too to really help and be there because I am part of this family and I have the right to be there. <laughs> And yeah, I know that from my own, you know, and father, the three of them really cannot, cannot understand each other. So their greatest wish is that after that they won't have to speak to each other. Really, I find it, I find it really childish and idiotic, but it's their life, but I have the right, you know, to have really a life and a connection with all of them because I love all of them. <laughs> they all are different but there's really inside them this good and gentle heart of the family, you know. We are like good and gentle heart <laughs> people. So, have a nice day. Have a nice autumn fall moment today it has been nearly nearly the frozen point the first cars with frozen um, door fr frozen windows you know things like that yeah i love the cold <laughs> have a nice day everyone i love